Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've still got the same weather pattern here with high pressure off to our south and southwest, keeping us relatively dry. At times we will see some clouds passing through and we may actually see some areas of fog or low clouds late tonight into tomorrow morning. So here's our high pressure system off to the south and southwest and we've got the jet stream with the storm track going up and around our area. Now to the east of us, especially in the Plain States and points east, it's a much different story, much colder along with areas of rain and snow at times, but our high pressure system is going to stay in control over the next several days. That means milder temperatures, especially by the afternoon. It'll still be chilly at night. And again, we could see some areas of fog starting out later tonight or into Tuesday morning. Wednesday looks even warmer with some offshore flow developing. Our forecast for the coast, low temperatures generally from the upper 30s right through the 40s and highs in the 50s and 60s. Areas of fog and low clouds possible late tonight, tomorrow morning. More sunshine, though, developing during the day. That north wind 10 to 20. There could be some stronger wind gusts. Moving inland, low temperatures in the 20s and 30s and high temperatures generally in the 50s and 60s. We have uh, cool conditions to start out and again, maybe some fog into Tuesday morning, then more sunshine developing during the day. Moving further inland starts out chillier with low temperatures around 20 to around 30. We have mainly fair conditions and then basically sunny conditions for Tuesday. Your highs in the 40s and 50s, generally speaking. Crater Lake there at 25 and 43. I have 21 and 54 for Alturas. For the seven day forecast, Rogue Valley, maybe some morning fog Tuesday, more sunshine during the day. Highs in the 50s and 60s, lows in the 30s to around 40. I'm going for 66 on Wednesday. The record high is 67, set back in 1996, and a slight chance for showers on Monday. For the Climate Basin, our temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s for highs, cooler towards the weekend. Slight chance for showers on Monday, lows will be in the 20s to around 30. And from out Shasta City, you've got plenty of sunshine as well with highs in the 50s and 60s, lows generally from the upper 20s through the 30s. Slight chance for showers next Monday. For the coast, I have high temperatures in the 50s and 60s, lows generally upper 30s through the 40s. May start out with some fog in the morning, more sunshine during the day. That slight chance for showers on Monday and a Chetco effect will be possible on Wednesday. That's offshore flow. That east and northeast winds, especially around Brookings and Harbor, and that may kick up the temperatures locally a lot warmer there on Wednesday. 